Guys, it's me, Mrs. Stiliano. I'm back here with Miss Rodriguez's second grade class. Would you guys like to say hi? Hi. Now, last week we read the book "This Is Not My Hat" by Jonathan Classen, and today. Today we're going to be creating the fish. So I want to show you what we did last week. We created this background, a little bubbly background, and today we're going to be creating a fish. I have these fish tracers for my class and I have black paper that I cut and they are going to use a white crayon. Now when I do this with my class, I like to see their skills because first graders, some have a lot of practice with tracing and some don't have as much. So this is also just as much for me as it is for my students. So my, for my students, I want to see you guys doing your best. The white shows up really nice on the black. So you're going to hold this as you trace. Did you guys notice I held it down with one hand as I traced? Okay. Yeah. Good. And now I'm going to slide it away and look what I'm left with. Now, even mine, it's not perfect, and I'm not looking for perfect from you either. Once you have it traced out, I am going to have you cut. Your scissors are already in your kit. Now I'm going to show my students a lot of information right now. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting exactly on my line. So I want to see my first graders also cutting exactly on their line as best they can. Eyes are on the board. Um, you're not cutting on the line. Whoa. I am. I cut exactly on my line. So now I'm left with my fish. I did the best job I can. I, again, I'm not expecting perfection. But what I'm going to do now, you see how you can see the white on here? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to flip it, okay? You actually want the fin on top. This is going to be the top. You don't want to see the white side. So you see how you can see the crayon? You don't want to see the crayon. You're going to flip it. Make sure that this fin is on top. Now, if you trace yours in the other direction, it might just be fish. It might just be swimming in the other direction. That's all. It's fine if your fish swims this way or that way, okay? But once you have it cut out, I have a really fun step for you. We're going to be creating a pattern on our picture. So does anyone here raise your hand, do not call out, but do you remember what a pattern is? Yeah. My first graders should all know. Who thinks they really know the answer? I'm going to give it to Mila. Um, a pattern is like red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Yeah, so it does a special thing. What, does it, what is it that it does? Aurora. Yes, it repeats itself. You guys are both correct. All right. You're going to be sharing paints with your table. These are fluorescent paints. They're also called neon. Okay. And here's how this is going to work. You get to create your own pattern. Now, I don't have a paper towel here. I just have tissue. So I'm going to use a tissue, but I'll put paper towels by you. So I think the first thing I want to do is create an eye. <laughs> I know this is silly, but I'm going to make my eye using these fluorescent paints. All right, and I want you to notice, so it's not a talking time, I want you to notice how I'm working really carefully. And I know that this is not the color of a real eye. So I did my background color first and then I did the dot inside. Next thing I'm gonna do, let's make sure we're really nice and quiet. I'm gonna start my pattern. Now the thing I hear most often is, I don't know what to do in my pattern. Just let it happen. I'd like if your pattern looked different than mine. By the way, I'm dipping in my water every time I change colors. Let's see how intricate our patterns can get. That means complex. All right, so let me think about what I'm going to do next. That's a cute. It is. It's cute, right? It looks real. It's so pretty. So I'm just kind of playing here. I'm going with the flow, like a fishy, right? Now check it out. I am doing a pattern, so I've got to come back to my pattern. And I'm going to. So now I know I'm going to do this. OK, and now I know I need another one of these. Whoops, I forgot part of my pattern. <laughs> so if you have a little mistake, just fix it up. Okay, 
And now, what am I going to do next? Let me see here. Our pattern got a little complicated, didn't it? Yes. That's okay. Right? It's very complicated. It's definitely complicated. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. It's no, you can try again. It's the stripes. Hmm. Oh, is it the stripes or is it? It's the dots. stripes. It's the dots. Dots. <laughs> Yes. The Sounds about right. And then, the then I'm going to do my stripes. So now for the end of your fish, you could do something different. All right. Oh, I forgot about his little cute mouth. Hi. <laughs> Look how cute he is. All right. And let's see if I could do something different on my fins. Because I want to. So we are doing a pattern on our fish's body, but let's do something different on the fins. Uh, what can I do here? Can I keep it how it is or should I keep adding to it? Keep adding to it. I think so too. I think so too. I'm just having a blast with this. Yeah, I will be too. Now, friends, once I have my fish painted, I'm going to put it on the drying rack. Okay, I'm going to move him out of the way. He's on the drying rack now. So now I am back on my background. Now I'm not actually going to work on this one because it's Aurora's, but what I'm going to have my students do is paint on their background. So what can you paint? Aurora, is it okay if I paint a little something on here? Okay. What are some things you might see in the sea? Coral. Maybe some coral, right. So I want to see you guys having fun painting different things. So maybe there's some coral, right? Yeah. What else can I add? Maybe a jellyfish? Yeah. Right? And then a octopus. Sea octopus. Maybe an octopus. All right, I don't want to take all the fun away from Aurora, but you get the idea. So we'll use the rest of the paint for decorating the background of our project. Oh yeah, you can't see it, can you? <laughs> Here it is. I Friends, I'm going to end the video now. We're going to say goodbye on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Goodbye! goodbye.